So unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that there's a new Space Jam movie out at the moment, uh, Space Jam, A New Legacy, starring LeBron James. And as part of this, Nike have brought out some new colorways of the LeBron 18s and the LeBron 8s. But in addition, they've also dropped a couple of new colorways on the classic Air Force One. And I wanted to check one of these out, so I did. Hey, what's going on? Lucas here, back with another video. And today I'm checking out the Nike Air Force One Space Jam computer chip. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. You can also find me outside of YouTube on Instagram and Twitter at LucasWin. And if you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help the channel grow. Now, today I'm checking out the Nike Air Force One computer chip. So this dropped to coincide with the release of Space Jam. And there was also another Air Force One which was like a white with a blue swoosh and had that Lola Bunny and Bugs Bunny. I kind of thought it was a little bit childish, so I kind of passed on that. And there were also some LeBron 18s colorways and also a LeBron 8, um, which still on the fence about. I know LeBron 18s are not doing too bad on the secondary market, um, but they're a little bit gimmicky. Um, so at the moment I've passed on them. And what I didn't pass on was the Air Force One computer chip. So these actually dropped on Nike.com. However, I actually copped these from Offspring um, for £110, there was a midnight release, uh, and I saw them, I liked them, got the W, and obviously happy to get them in hand. In the US, they dropped on sneakers for $120. They're actually cheaper in the US if you compare the pricing, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm really happy to get these in hand, and obviously give a full review, and also stay tuned to the end of the video for the uh, on-foot look. So you have a standard Air Force One box. So you've just got Nike, Air and Silver, and Air Force One on the bottom. Pretty much all the branding you get um, on the standard Air Force One box. So we take a look at the size tag, it's a Nike Air Force 107. The colorway is black, blue light, fury, um, US size 14, UK 13. So we'll just pop the lid. So again, standard Air Force One tissue paper. And here we have the sneaker itself. So I said, this is the, the Nike Air Force One computer chip. Um, it's released as part of the Space Jam collaboration. So I'll just put this down. So first we'll take a look at the outsole. So it's basically this greenish um, outsole. And one unique detail is this actually does glow in the dark, um, which is kind of cool. And as you can see, you know, it, it really pops. Um, so if you wanted, you know, you. It's just kind of gimmicky, but it's still a nice feature, I think, that it glows in the dark. Uh, and then we, uh, we turn to the side, we turn to the midsole. You can see standard Nike Air Force One midsole. So you've got all black. You've got your black stitching just above here, and then you've got air um, in the corner right there. If we turn to the front, so this is where the detailing starts. So what you see here is you've kind of got elements of computer chips, but also the other detail. You've got a silhouette of like Bugs Bunny on the side here, and he's like spinning a basketball on his finger. And then you can also see that here as well. So again, nice little touches. You've also got the wording Space Jam on the side here, on the top of the toe box. And then as we go over the toe box, you obviously got your perforated holes, as you see on a standard Air Force One. But again, they've added the computer chip element over it as well. So again, that's a nice touch. And this is all um, kind of embroidered. So you can definitely feel it uh, to the touch. So that's a nice little detail. And obviously not something you get on a everyday sneaker if we turn to the side on the upper you can see you've then got this paneling here again with this blue text again the light blue fury 
Um, and again, you can see the outlay of Bugs Bunny and the basketball being spun on his finger there. All black solution leather, as you can see here. And then that detailing goes um, along the top of the, along the side of the shoe and all the way up back to the, the ankle. So again, nice little details. We turn to the front. If you go up the toe box, you can see you still got that detailing as you come up the lace up the upper. You've got standard laces for an Air Force One. And then you come up to the tongue. You've got this, uh, again, the light blue, blue fury background and then Nike Air Force One in the black writing at the top there. If you turn to the medial side, it's exactly the same. You've again got that detail on this side. And then you've got the blue um, color blocking, light blue fury color blocking right here. Again, that black swoosh. If you come to the back of the sneaker, you then got the Nike Air embroidered in black um, on the heel. Um, so again, nice little details there. Inside on the inside, you've just got Nike Air in that light blue fury um, writing again. So, so yeah, that's the sneaker. I think it's, you know, it's got a lot of nice little details. Uh, obviously, it's not something you can understand at Air Force One. So that's why I wanted to kind of see it in person, because I obviously, pictures never do these things justice. And I definitely say, you know, it's something that I'm really happy to get for the collection. So what did you think? Did you actually cop this uh, or did you pass? Um, let, me know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So stay tuned for the on foot that's coming up shortly. And again, let me know what you think in the comments. So thanks for checking out this video. If you did enjoy this content, please do subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. You can also find me outside of YouTube on Instagram and Twitter at LucasWin. And again, if you did enjoy this content, please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help the channel grow. And until next time, Take it easy, I'll see you next video.